Sean out again, here doing another little video for uh, the Nintendo Dads. You'll remember my face and voice from Dad Crossing, and if you listen to us, Game Pass News. Um, I'm here today to do you like a bit of a 24-48 hour Switch re review of the new OLED Switch that uh, came out. I was luckily enough to be guested one of the bad boys. Um, to give you my lowdown, I have played this as much as possible every waking moment I've had where I haven't been busy doing something else, I have been playing Metroid Dread. With that said, um, I I was sceptical at first with the OLED, the like the, the not having the internal hardware improvements to back an OLED screen. I was worried that, you know, it was basically just trying to neatly dress an old bit of kit. Um, my time with it that has completely changed my mind. Um, the sound is amazing. Um, it gives you a really 3D feel having those two uh, front-facing foot, uh, front-facing speakers that come at you and chuck loads of stuff. Sound is just it's really crisp, um, more in depth, things like. That. But the thing that really gets me, and it's, you see this a lot with playing Metroid Dread because it's a really atmospheric style game, is the OLED screen does a really good job of those colours and making it sharper. Technical specs on that side of things, it's still only 720 when you've got it in handheld and it does have a lower uh, pixels per inch so where the original Switch was something like 237 pixels per inch I think the new OLED is around 210 um, pixels per inch so the, the pixel density isn't as good as the original but because the OLED can handle like those colours and the depths of colour and the blacks so well that you'd be far-fetched to find a single pixel in some games. I haven't really noticed it much in Metroid Dread. Um, I unfortunately haven't tried anything else because you know, this game, we waited 19 years for this game to come out, so I've been really excited to play that. Um, the other thing that I really, really like about the OLED, and it's gonna sound really, really silly when I say this, is this. This little bit of kit on the back of the dock, for me, is amazing. I don't know how ever people got on with the little trapdoor bit on the back of the original Switch's dock. And I think that like, you know, all the cables had to definitely come out the side, so if you wanted to have it sat in front of the TV, you kind of like almost had to have the, the back of the dock off all the time, which I didn't like, because, you know, kids' fingers get in, pull things out. Um, but that, that, just that little curve there, and the fact it's not on hinges that could break really easy, means that, like, for me, aesthetically wise, I, like, if I've got a console on display, I like it to be able to be seen and not really see all the cables trailing off the back. So, like, now the way I've got my switch set up in the living room, it, the cables just run down the side of the TV out of the way you can't see them when you're playing it. Can't really see them when you're in the living room most of the time anyway. So it just, you know, that that's a, for me, it's a little quality of life thing that they seem to have, I didn't realise I wanted, but now I, I've got it. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, as for, like, how it plays docked, you've still got 1080 um, P, you know, the full resolution, the, the resolution, sorry, that that will give out is 1080. Um, that's exactly the same. It seems a bit quicker than my original Switch, but that could just be an age issue where my original Switch is old and tired. You know, it's been around since the, I think I got it. I didn't get it day of, I got it on the week of release. So, because, you know, I didn't believe the hype about the Switch at first, and then when like, you, like, speaking to a few people that picked one up on day release and stuff, they seemed really excited. I then got behind it, was like, yeah, okay, I, I'd like to get one. And um, and we walked into a, a toy shop in in York, and they had some, and I kind of like hinted at, at, at Lindsay that, you know, I'd like to pick one of these, and she was like, well, just get it. So, you know, she's pretty cool like that. <laughs> um, the kickstand on the back, I haven't used a great deal, but the uh you know the fact that it's multi-positional you know uh is great because if you like to be laid i don't know if you've got one of those little uh, tray tables that you sit on your lap i can just use a book if i'm kind of sat in bed with the l switch i used to have to like really worry about it slipping and the fact that it, 
went to just that one locked position meant that I couldn't sit with it comfortably on the knee at all times so you know the fact that it's got a little grippy feet and you can have it kind of adjusted to however you want it is amazing um, it's a it's a really nice touch uh, memory wise in this thing I, I didn't realize that it was a 64 gigabyte internal compared to the 32 from the original switch so when I came to transferring all the, the saved data I was like oh, I, haven't bought, I haven't got an extra SD card um, and I don't want to take the SD card out of the original switch because I don't know what's happening with that yet. I don't know if that's just going to be used for the kids. I've still got my Animal Crossing Island on there, which I'm really, really worried about moving across. And I'm going to be following Tim's video very carefully about how to do that. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that was very seamless. I went through the setup menu, you know, where you have to take it out of the dock, do everything set up linked my Nintendo account, they very carefully read the prompts that they gave you to say are you going to be using, your, do you still have your original console and are you still going to be using your original console, make sure if you are press yes for both of those otherwise I think you can start losing some data somewhere and a phone call to Nintendo will be needed to recover all that. Um, once I've done that I, I checked on the original switch, uh, all the save data that I was worried about was saved to the data cloud which it was. Um, Went to a save point on Metroid Dread, saved the game, took, shut the game down, took the game out of the device, put the game in the new device, loaded it up and it was exactly where I left it, you know, battling away in the, uh, the midst of ZDR. Um, battery life is amazing compared to my old one. Um, I haven't had this docked now for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, I've been playing Metroid for the majority of that this morning and it's at 91% um, originally if that was my original Switch, two hours of, of gameplay and a game with as much colour and as much going on with that it would be a, like it'd be shouting at me after two and a half hours, three hours um, I think that again was potentially an age issue that I had with the, uh, the original Switch but <coughs> excuse me um yeah, there's not, not really much else I, I, I need to say about this. I mean, it feels great. I like the matte at the back when my original Switch was shiny. I like the matte white with the Joy-Cons. Um, you know, I haven't encountered any issues with the Joy-Cons. They feel really nice. Weight-wise, in your hand, something that like, I don't really take much into consideration because handheld isn't something I do for long periods of time. But I know there is Nintendo Switch users out there that primarily play just handheld. Um, there, I, there, there is a little bit of more weight to it, I believe. I don't know the full specs of that, but it's slightly heavier in my opinion. Um, but there is various groups that are out there that are come uh, out there for use with the OLED. Um, I'm gonna get a screen protector. I know there's a couple of guys in the Discord, uh, John and Drew and stuff, that have kind of talked about um, dock condoms which is basically just some material that slides over the front of your dock makes it look really pretty makes it look really nice and protects your screen but i think i'm going to go for a, a proper screen protector because you know this seven inch oled screen i do not want it scratching like my old one and i don't know if i've already shown you but and i don't know if you can see it really well if this isn't any representation but that that's a screenshot i took from a part of dread and you know ha the De I've never really played much with an LED screen. I know my phone has one, but you don't really like kind of take a great deal of notice on how graphically good a screen looks when it's on a mobile phone because you don't use it primarily for gaming. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. So Dread's a beautiful game anyway. Um, they've done really well with the graphics on that and really good with like all the different variances of um, areas that you go into with not wanting to talk too much about it to spoil it. But yeah, some of the cut, the cut scenes are amazing. The load screens between places where like the lights passing and stuff like that really shows how great the, the screen is for this thing. So, um, closing comments for the video. I was dubious about getting one. Um, I'm massively grateful that I got one given to to play with, to try, to make videos for you guys. Um, if at Christmas, if you're having issues with your original Switch and 
you know you have the money spare go out and get one it, you will not be disappointed um if you haven't got one already and you're on the bus and you're watching this video to try and figure out is it for me go get one unless you can get an original switch for a steal which i know a lot of people have now got the oled are trying to sell them for a steal um you know you'll be hard to find one that's as good as this so yeah anyway thanks guys for listening um obviously subscribe to the nintendo Dose channel uh and look forward to seeing his face again soon for the Animal Crossing Direct. So yeah, I'll see you later.